Alright guys, we're going to be reviewing this today. This is the Yixing VTEL 210. Uh, first off, I've had a slight bad turn of events with this quad. Uh, flies well, but there was something wrong with it whenever I, had it, uh, whenever I first got it. I had to go in and reprogram some things. N number one, the GPS went bad. The uh, FPV, FPV, something was wrong with it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, 2300 kV motors. This thing will get after it. It's a well performance quad right here. Carbon fiber frame. <clears throat> 1080p camera. You see right here. Also, your SD card goes in behind this ribbon cable right here. And which is kind of a tough design because... Uh, you got you gotta stretch the ribbon cable pretty good, but it does come with another one. And you can see I've already banged up the leg on it. I had a little issue whenever I first got it. Also comes with the Ishing I6. <clears throat> Real quick, it's your throttle lock. It's a safety deal. Uh, acro mode, beginner mode. For some reason, it's a little backwards. This is your rates. Uh, good controller right here. Uh, you can program it to about anything. Uh, you get a 1500 milliamp 4S. <clears throat> Flight time uh, around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your burst. Uh, pros about this yes, it is fast. Uh, cons I mean, it's just like any, any new quad you get. The thing about this V-tail right here, if you can see that, this thing whips and kicks so hard. I mean, this thing will come at you pretty much, I mean, the direction is like this. I mean, this thing, it's a, it's a hard runner, man. Uh, you have to go in on a clean flight. You got your plug-in right here, if you can see that right there. And then uh, this one over here, I'm not positive on what it's for. Uh, this thing's working with some good, uh, good components. Uh, 20 amp uh, ESCs. This thing will get after it. Uh, not a beginner quad, for sure. Uh, I'm not the best, but this one right here, I mean, it's a, uh, it's awesome though. And. We, get, uh, we will be taking out for a flight and off for the day we're grounded. We got some pretty high gusts. I don't want to get this thing all banged up worse than what it is. The antenna here, I had a little problem with the antenna. The antenna pulled out. I just frayed it out. I'm going to get an, uh, another antenna for it for the FPV. The signal's strong, uh, but not with the goggles that I have. I got them uh, the VR007s. They're, like I said in that review, they're good indoor flight, not really for what you need for this. Uh, another bad thing about this, whenever you do get and your rate's high and you hammer it, you got a lot of isolation. Uh, on the automotive side, uh, you're banging out. It's got a lot of, like, uh, it's not letting it get full potential as if it's, like, missing. Uh, trying to sum it up as you know for you viewers who don't know what I'm talking about uh, but other than that this is pretty durable because I've uh, well whenever I first got it and I thought it was all in tune took it up for a flight and boy I smacked a bunch of bunch of things but uh, <clears throat> overall it's a good buy I'll put a link in the description if you're not sure about operating one of these, I mean, you can get it, but don't throw your money away. This is more of the uh, the higher skilled pilots. Uh, also, these blades. Talk about these blades for a second. Uh, I don't like them. I think it needs a tri-blade on it, but and also don't like the edge on them. You really can't see it, but. And this thing messed up. I caught it out of the air, but the motors are powered down. These blades are so sharp, they just impaled my hand, my palm, which I got pretty big, thick hands. So, uh, 
yeah, it can hurt you. And but for the most part, awesome quad. And also, if you look right up, let me see if I can get a shot of it. Right up in there is the DVR. It's got a built-in DVR, 1080p camera. You don't really see a whole lot of vibration. It's got a rubber mount deal on here. As you can see, I'm shaking it around. Uh, <clears throat> records good video. Uh, also, with the flight, whenever I do the flight review on it, I will uh, put that into the... You'll see what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and power this on so you can see everything work on here. Got the bright LED lights on the back. This thing is awesome. I love it. But also, uh, if you're just getting into it, I'd get one with a better built frame. The bad thing about this V-tail right here, they do break. These will snap off. This is, you can get all this replaced, but the way this is designed, there's no support. So whenever you hit, so you hit the ground hard like that, it's going to break. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind, guys. And also, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. i got some more stuff coming up. And uh, we'll have a flight review pretty quick as soon as we get the wind to calm down.